From electronic to funk and hip-hop, the Backpack Music Festival will have Midtown Detroit bumping, but the event also raises money to provide school supplies for students who just can't afford them. And joining me now with more on the festival and how you can help is organizer Judy Shelton. Happy 4th to you. Oh, happy 4th. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. We were just saying, boy, is it is it Backpack Music Festival already? Yeah. It's a little early this year. It sure is. It's going to be next Saturday, July the 11th. Um, we have a new location also, Michigan State Community Music School in Midtown. Beautiful building. Of course, it'll be inside and outside. That's the venue right. This time. We have um, two stages. The more live performances are going to be in the garage area, and then we close the street on Erskine, and that's going to be the great dynamic DJs playing all day. Awesome. Now, yes. for, for folks who aren't familiar with what the Backpack Music Festival is all about, mm -hmm. uh, tell me how this came about and, and who it serves. Well, actually, um, about 10 years ago, I just it was a noticing children just really not having the basics, walking to school with their supplies in maybe a, you know, a, a shopping bag. And so from there, I came up with the idea, let's put Backpacking for Success together. And then from there, we work with homeless children, foster care children, organ transplant children from the University of Michigan. They have a camp. So we touch some of the most at-risk children out here. Yeah, such a great need in our city and such an easy way to help them out if you love music and who doesn't love music. Oh, it's going to be great. We have kids performing. We have DJs. We have Urban Strings. We have uh, Luther, Batman, Keith doing some blues. So we have a little bit of everything. It's not just your hip-hop. It's not just your house and techno. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah, absolutely. When you think about, you know, as far as uh, the uh, evolution of this mm -hmm. Backpack Music Festival, I mean, what is your favorite part of it? I think, if anything, the evolution is just touching the community and growing that way and all the partnerships from our Quicken Loans and MSU and State Farm. We have everyone coming in, the restaurants, craft work, so forth, that are supporting us. And that's really what's happening right now. They're seeing what we're doing out here. We're up to 2,500 kids every year. That's great. And it's a lot of work, but it is fantastic when you see the, the kids' faces. Yeah, a lot of guests, of course, want to help. What should they bring to the festival? Um, well, it's a $20 tax-deductible donation. We're actually having a breakfast from 8 to 10. It's our sunrise breakfast, and it's only $10 then. Children are free all day. We have an interactive second floor, which is going to be, gosh, belly dancing, DJing, you know, storytelling, interactive activities for the entire family all day from 8 a.m to 8 p.m. at MSU Community Music School. There it is, the Backpack Music Festival. Judy, thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all your hard work for this city. All right. Uh, should be a good time. What do you What do you bump to? What do you like bumping oh to? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm a house head. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I got I to gotta admit it. I've been doing house hey, and techno no shame in that. For, for a very long time. No shame yeah. In that. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you, Judy. Thank, thank you, you so much. We'll send it over to Anu. I love that house head. Very cute. <laughs> all right.